Are you looking to do some Oregon coast crabbing and need some tips on the best baits? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another crabbing video here at Herman's Outdoors. Today, we are going to talk about the best crabbing baits to catch Dungeness crab on the Oregon coast. From all the way up north in Astoria to down south in Coos Bay or Brookings, you can go after Dungeness crabs all along the Oregon coast. Besides the ring, pot, or trap to catch the Dungeness crab, I consider bait the most critical element to catching keeper-sized Dungeness crab. You can catch crab with different kinds of meats in the bait box or tied to the crab ring, but I found there are very specific baits you can use to catch bigger and more Dungeness crabs. So before you head out next for some Dungeness crabbing, you need to take these baits with you. Number 5. Tuna. Tuna is a great crabbing bait and it's often overlooked by most people. First, tuna is oily, which is a huge attractant for crab. The oily scent from tuna will draw a crab in from farther distances and give the crab something different to go after. Second, the size of the tuna head and the carcass after removing the tuna fillets can fill multiple crab bait holders so you can bait multiple traps with one tuna carcass. One way I get tuna for crabbing is going to my local fish market and asking if they have any tuna parts left over from the day's catch. Also, don't overlook going on a tuna charter for a day and taking home fillets and save the tuna heads for crab bait. The limit on tuna in Oregon is actually 25 a day, so that can fill the freezer with crab bait in just one trip. Just remember to take some Dramamine before that tuna trip out on the high seas. Don't ask me how I know. Number 4 duck and pheasant legs. A couple years ago, my uncle took me out on a crabbing trip and we used leftover pheasant legs from a hunting trip he had earlier in the fall. When I harvest duck and pheasant, I hate wasting any meat, so I always keep the legs, but I had never thought of using them as crab bait until my uncle suggested to try it. And it worked. Each leg has a little meat on it, but when you add up duck and pheasant legs from a hunting trip or a long season of duck hunting, the legs can fill a crab bait container easily. And what I've found is you Using the legs helps stands out from everyone else using traditional baits. On slower crabbing days, going to duck and pheasant legs have been a game changer and filled our cooler of Dungeness crab. Number 3 shad. Here in the northwest, we get a huge run of shad up the Columbia and Willamette rivers, which you can catch from the bank or a boat. The stinky scent of shad are great for crabbing bait as they come from the herring family. A bunch of fishermen in the northwest I know go after shad for a week or two in the early summer time frame to fill the freezer with crabbing bait. And during the peak shad run, there's no limit in the state of Oregon, so you can fish for a couple days for shad and get enough bait for a year or maybe two for that matter. There's there's been days with a half a million shad going over Bonneville Dam, so go catch yourself some crab bait. Shad are fun to catch, not as much fun to eat. And yes, I tried to cook shad for my wife once, and that did not end well. Number 2 fish carcass. Fish carcass is probably the most common crabbing bait amongst crabbers in the Pacific Northwest. Every crabbing place along the Oregon coast has those stinky drums filled with the most gut-wrenching smelling fish carcass around. At crab rental places, each pot or ring comes with a fish carcass as part of the cost to rent gear for that day. And fishing anglers who catch salmon and steelhead in the Northwest save the head and carcass for crabbing bait. Dungeness crab love the smell of stinky salmon. It's easy to put a whole carcass in a crab pot or in a ring. I especially love a fish carcass for crab rings. The fish can cover a huge section of the ring which can attract more crab and give you a better chance of catching larger crab when you pull the ring up to the surface. And number one. Chicken. My family has been using chicken as crabbing bait for many years, and I found chicken out crabs the fish carcass for a few reasons. First, the chicken has more meat than a fish carcass, and I found that that just attracts more crab. The more meaty the bait, the more crab you can get. Second, if you want to crab all day, grabbing a container or two of marked down chicken at the grocery store can last you all day. A fish carcass can get stripped of meat quickly and the bait becomes throwaway. But packages of chicken will ensure you have enough bait for the day and you won't have to go buy more fish carcass or bait from the shop. Third, 
The chicken lasts longer than a fish carcass, and on days when you are going on a crabbing fishing combo trip, having bait that lasts longer will give you more time to do some fishing and catch that giant king salmon or coho. On days when you are crabbing longer, you want baits that last longer. So go with the chicken and pull in those pots and rings full of keeper Dungeness crabs. And that's my top 10 crab baits for Oregon Coast Dungeness crabbing. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new about the baits to use for crabbing. Now get out there and catch a limit of Dungeness Crab on the Oregon coast. Thanks for watching everybody, and as always, the outdoors is a gift, share it with others.